Hi guys, I'm Paolo Nespoli, Italian astronaut of the, of the European Space Agency and I'm here today in a cave in Sardinia. I have with me a speleobiologist, Paolo, Dr. Paolo Marcia, Marcia in, in Italian, of the University of Sassari and we are here uh, to show you how to carry out one experiment that has to do with what we call catch that bug. Uh, so, the idea is to collect a sample of soil so that you can bring it back in, uh, in the laboratory yeah. and then analyze it to check uh, for life and other uh, forms. You know what Paolo does normally? Does this all day. He goes down on the ground and, and looks for something that crawls around. Everybody runs away and he runs there to check stuff. So, he's going to help us in showing us exactly how to do it. Okay. You need to go in a place a little bit undisturbed maybe in your uh, backyard or maybe in a forest if you have it or, or some kind of place where possibly there is a rock uh, or something like this because usually near a rock there is there is, uh, there is humidity uh, animals already collect under there so you find a rock something that you can move without uh, getting in trouble uh, and you'll, you'll move it before doing that though you have to prepare your field or the tools that you're going to need you're going to need a, a trowel, something like this to excavate uh, the dirt, the ground. You need to have, uh, we have here a ruler about 20 centimeters. Actually, it is 20 centimeters. Yeah. We, we need a 20 centimeters ruler. Uh, we have a bag to collect the dirt. We have a logbook to get some data. We'll show you later what yeah. you need to collect. And if you have it, and you have it at your disposal, a portable scale like this one. If not, it's okay. We'll do it. We'll show you. We'll tell you what to do if you don't have it. So, you prepare all your tools in front of you. Yeah. You go there. You possibly you have somebody that helps you. And, uh, and let's, let's get going. So, you take the rock carefully. Turn it around. Make sure that there's nothing big under there. Nothing can, can bite you or something. Uh, you look for any animal. Here in the, in the caves, there are not that many animals. No. Uh, usually they are small and they crawl around. So I don't see anything here, right? No. So we're going to go and uh, sample the, the soil. Okay. Let's see. We take our ruler. We kind of mark a 20 by 20 centimeter um, square on the on the ground there it is it's 20 by 20 yeah. and now what we do we dig in take all the soil put it into that bag uh, we need to to dig something like uh, 25 uh, I mean five centimeters because this will 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 allow us to collect enough soil we need to have more or less uh, three kilos of, uh, of soil if uh, if when you're digging you find some uh, some rocks. Well, you don't need to take the rocks. I mean, inside the rocks there are no animals. So you take uh, you take uh, uh, you take the rocks. You look at it, and if, if there are no animals, you just throw it away, right? Or you put it aside. Okay. It uh, it would be better before you do it this to have some kind of gloves so your hands are kind of uh, clean. You you can do it also without gloves, but with gloves it's a little bit better. We have it anyhow here because this is a cave environment. It's very wet. Let's see if that, there it is. We have already a rock here. So I let Paolo look at it because he has a really fine eye. Uh, fine tune on those little bugs. Paolo, do you find, you find bugs? Usually bugs are usually around? Yeah. You find bugs in the ground, in the, in caves? Yeah. Yes. Wow. What kind of bugs? Uh, beetle. Beetle? Yeah. Do you find worms in this kind of things too? or yeah, something of... Uh, what, 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 do you think, what do you think people will find uh, if they... Did they dig a hole in their backyard? They may find some worms, right? Some beetles, some worms, some ants, something like that. Something of 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 of. So don't get scared. Those are small stuff. They are not going to bite you uh, usually. So uh, check for rocks. Uh, no animals. No. Okay. Let's start putting this dirt in here. Oh, that's another rock. Here you go. Yep. Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Let's get going. One, two, three, 
So, Paolo, did you really find? Did you find any anything unusual, any new in the in the in the case where yeah, usually I have discovered a new species uh, of uh, invertebrate. You discovered new species? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty interesting. That's a pretty interesting job. Think, they are paying you, so it goes in caves, digs all, turns stones, and look for new bugs. How cool is that? Wow, crazy. I thought I had a good job, but look at this guy. Well, okay. Here we go. With cutting this thing. So we said it should be 20 by 20 centimeters, and it should be about 5 centimeters deep. The reason why we, we have this dimension is because I said we need to have around 3 kilos of, uh, of dirt, and if you, if you dig that much, you will have more or less 3 kilos of dirt. Let's see. Let's measure it. Look at it. There we go. Yeah, this is five, five, this is a little bit less than five, but this is a little bit more than five, so I think okay. in the average we got it. Okay, good. So, we take this, uh, this bag here, and now we start uh, filling in all the data. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Paul is going to read, I'm going to talk. <laughs> What do we have? Uh, date of sampling. Date of sampling, we just write today's date, then? Environment. Environment. So, we are here in uh, Suhohos Cave in uh, Sardinia. You write down where you are. It's not enough to write down, I'm in my backyard. You probably should write uh, uh, the town, the country, the place, maybe the street number, something like that. Something that identifies the place where you get it. If you do have a GPS, it would be nifty if you find the coordinates and write down yeah. the coordinates. Look at that. Huh? Weather? Weather. Uh, weather. Here in the, in the cave, the weather is pretty stable. It's not raining usually. Uh, but we need to write down the weather outside. It's raining, no raining, windy, no windy. Uh, good weather, bad weather. By the way, this change uh, Usually, if it rains or it doesn't rain, it changes how bugs move around, and yeah. that's why we need yeah. to we need to to write it down. And what? Oh, so now today is sunny. Today is sunny outside. Yeah. Very good. And, and now the weight. Ah, we need to weigh this thing. So we said if you have a small portable scale, yeah. uh, we of course we do have one. We came prepared. Uh, you can weigh it. Uh, if not, no problem. Take it home clean it up or, or, or bring it in the lab and you can actually wait. Let's see. There's something wrong. There we go. Okay. Ah, 3 kilos and 45. 3 kilos. Three. 3 kilos and 450 grams. Okay. Very good. Then what? What do we need more? That's it? Now we can go in laboratory. Ah, now we take this one, clean up everything, put back our rock so, so the, the bus can go back to their nominal life, keep our stuff, and uh, we go in the laboratory for the second part. So, do it, and then uh, on the next uh, video we'll show you uh, what to do when you go in the laboratory and how to analyze uh, your sample. Good, so uh, from uh, Paolo Nespoli, Italian astronaut of the European Space Agency and uh, Paolo Marcia from the University of Sassari and uh, last but not least Paxi will wish you a good hunt and catch, catch that, that bag. bag. So